In this video, you will learn the complete process to install Java 23 on a Mac machine. The 23 version is released recently on the 17th of September. So this is the latest version as of now. And one more thing here is that in this video, we will install the Oracle JDK, which is hosted on the Oracle's official website. And we will not use Homeview to install Java. But still, if you prefer using Homeview to install Java, then I have created a separate video for that. And you would find the link of that video in the description below. Now, to install Java 23, you need to search for Oracle Java download on any browser like I have shown here. And in the search results, we will look for this Java Downloads Oracle, which is having this link oracle.com Java Technologies Downloads. So now we will open this link. And here you would find all the Java versions which are available to install. So if we scroll down a little bit, we will find the JDK 23 as well. And these JDK 21 and 17 also, which are the LTS versions, the long term support versions. Now from here, we will select the corresponding operating system. So for our case, it is macOS. And here we have two options to download the compressed archive and, and the DMG installer. So for this video, we will go ahead with the DMG installer. Now, whether we need to go with the ARM64 or the X64, this totally depends on the type of chip which is used in our Mac system. So if the chip type in our system is Apple Silicon type, then we will go with the ARM64 option. And on the other hand, if the chip type is Intel, then we need to go with the X64 option here. So to check the chip type, we will click on the Apple icon, which is present on the top left corner. Now here we will click on this about this Mac. And here we will see the chip type. So for my case, it is Apple M1. So it means it is a Apple Silicon type. And we will go with the ARM64 option there. But in case for you, the Intel is mentioned in the chip information, then it would mean that the chip is based on the Intel. So you would go with the x64 option. So now I will close this. And on the browser, we will click on this, this particular DMG installer. So the downloading is started. So once this is downloaded, we can click over here. Or alternatively, we can navigate to the location in the finder where this particular DMG file is downloaded and there we can double click on this DMG file. So that would open this dialog box where this PKG file is present. And now we will double click on this PKG file as well. Now this installation wizard will come up and I will click on this continue. Now in order to proceed, make sure to have this much of minimum space in your system. Now I will click on this install. Here we need to provide the password for this Mac system. So I will provide that and say install software. Now the installation is successful and I will close this wizard here. Now it is asking me whether I want to keep that DMG file in the downloads folder or I want to move that into bin. So let's move this to bin because we no longer require this. Now it's time to verify the installation through our terminal. So I will open the terminal and here we will run this command which is java space hyphen hyphen version. So in the output we have got this java 23 which means the 23 version of JDK is installed in our system. So in case you do not get this output or in case of any other issue let me know through comments. Or else, if the video was useful to you, then do hit the like button and for the latest videos, do subscribe the channel. Now, after the installation, there is one more thing that we need to check, which is the java underscore home variable. So if we write echo, then dollar, then java underscore home, then it is currently empty. So, so it's better to set this value. Otherwise, it might not work properly in some cases. So we will set this value with that path where the JDK is installed. So let's go to the location first where the JDK is installed. So for that, I will write CD space, then forward slash library, forward slash 
java forward slash java virtual machine let's go to this location and let's now run ls so here we will see this jdk 23.jdk folder so this is present because the jdk 23 is installed in my system and there are couple of more jdk folders so these are present because i have multiple java versions installed in my system so let's go inside this jdk 23.jdk folder so i will say jdk then 23.jdk let's do ls now and here we will go inside this contents folder as well now ls again and here you would see this home folder so we will go inside this home folder as well so in this home folder itself all the binary and the library files are present which are required for java to function properly now if we run pwd command so this is the path of home folder and we need to set this particular path in the java underscore home variable so now in order to set this value permanently we will use the jsrc or the bash rc file so if your mac os version is catalina or the higher than catalina then there will be the jsrc file or in case you are using the lower version than catalina then there will be the bash underscore rc file and we can check that by running this particular command which is ls space hyphen la then space then tilde and forward slash let's hit enter now so here you will see that i have this dot jsh rc file now you need to look for whether you have this jsh rc file or the bash underscore rc file so now we will open this file using the vi editor so let me clear the terminal first and now i will do the pwd again so that we have this particular path handy and i will write vi space then tilde slash dot jshrc and let's hit enter now the file is opened in the vi editor and now in order to edit this file first we will move to the insert mode and i will press i on the keyboard now you would see that we are in the insert mode now here we will write java underscore home equals to and now i will paste the copied path here so this was the path which we had copied and now to move out from this insert mode i will press escape key on the keyboard now you would observe the insert is gone from here and now we will write colon then wq so you would see here whatever i have written now i will press the return key of the keyboard so we are out of that vi editor now now there is just one last thing that we need to source this jsh rc file so we will write source then space then we will give the path which is tilde then forward slash dot jsh rc and we will hit enter so now if we check the value of java underscore home variable so we will again write echo then dollar java underscore home and we will hit enter so here is the value of java underscore home which we had set in the jsh rc file so the path is also set now now at last do hit the like button if this video was useful to you and to learn new things related to latest technology you can subscribe the channel see you in some other video